Around 40% of all mammal species are rodents, and these creatures really have taken over the world. They have adapted to many different ecosystems and biomes, and they are native to all major land masses except from New Zealand and Antarctica. Some of these creatures are suited to living life in the trees, whereas others live a semi-aquatic lifestyle. Because there are so many rodent species and because they are so diverse, rodents can come in many different shapes and sizes. In today's video, I will be focusing on the largest rodents in the world, and I will be judging them on their maximum weight. To find our first species, we will be heading to Central and Southern Africa, as we have the Cape Porcupine. The Cape Porcupine is a species of Old World Porcupine, and it's the largest rodent in Africa and it's also the world's largest porcupine. This species is closely related to the crested porcupines, but it is quite a bit larger. Like all rodents, they have some very impressive incisors, and they use these teeth to feed on roots, bulbs, fruit, and bark. This porcupine has to be careful not to be turned into a meal itself, because of course Africa is home to many dangerous predators. They are targeted by lions, hyenas, leopards, and birds of prey, but famously they have very effective defensive mechanisms. The quills on a cape porcupine's back can grow up to 40 centimeters long, and these quills are essentially modified hairs. They can use these quills almost in the same way that a rattlesnake uses its rattle, as they will rattle them together as a warning. If this doesn't work and the predator still tries to attack the cape porcupine, the porcupine will move violently towards the animal, and it will embed its quills into the predator's body. If a predator is quilled, it can sometimes turn fatal, and it's why the majority of predators leave them alone. This rodent can definitely put up a fight and that's partly due down to its size, as it can reach a length of up to 85 centimeters, and it has a maximum weight of around 30 kilograms. This size means that it's king of the porcupines, but it still only slots in at number 5 on this list. For our next species, we can head over to Eurasia, as we have the Eurasian beaver. The Eurasian beaver was once widespread across Eurasia, but it was pushed to the brink of extinction by humans. They were hunted for both their fur and their castorium, and at the turn of the 20th century, only around 1,200 beavers survived. Thankfully today, they have made an impressive comeback, and they have been reintroduced into many countries across their native range. Today, over 85% of Eurasian beavers live in Europe, and they prefer to live in freshwater habitats surrounded by woodland. Beavers have distinctive orange teeth due to the iron in their enamel, and this allows them to bite through wood. They use this wood to make impressive structures, and they're valuable members of the ecosystem. By building dams, they create habitats for many other creatures, and they create important nurseries for fish. As you might be able to tell, the Eurasian beaver looks very similar to the North American beaver, but there are a few important differences. The North American beaver has 40 chromosomes, whereas the Eurasian beaver has 48. The two species are unable to interbreed, but there have been many attempts over the years. The two species are very similar in size, but the North American beaver has a larger maximum weight, and that's why it will make an appearance later on in the video. Eurasian beavers are of course semi-aquatic rodents, and in the water they are quite impressive swimmers. They can swim at speeds of up to 5 miles per hour, and that's more than double the speed of an average human. They are also able to hold their breath for up to 15 minutes, and this allows them to build the impressive structures that they do. Even though the Eurasian beaver is large, it's not the largest beaver in the world, as they can reach a maximum body length of around a meter, and they can weigh in at 40 kilograms. This size means that they're the largest rodents in Europe, and they slot in at number 4. For our next species, we can head to Central and South America, as we have the Lesser Capybara. The Lesser Capybara is a large member of the Capybara family, and it can be found in Panama, Colombia, and Venezuela. This animal was first described as a species in 1912, but it was later recategorized as a subspecies of the capybara. In the 1980s, it was once again recognized as a separate species, although it is quite hard to tell the difference between the lesser capybara and the capybara. The lesser capybara is of course smaller, and it tends to have a darker brown coat. This animal is relatively rare in South America, but it has a stronghold in Panama, and is found further north than the capybara. Just like their larger relatives, they like to spend a lot of time in the water, and this offers them an escape route away from predators. 
As there has been some confusion over this animal's classification, very little is known about this species. But what we do know is that it is very large. The lesser capybara has a maximum length of around a meter, and they max out at around 46 kilograms. Even though this size is impressive, they're upstaged by their larger relatives, and they're only fit for number three on this list. For our next species, we can head north to North America, as we have the North American beaver. The North American beaver is widespread across the continental United States and Canada, and it can also be found in some parts of northern Mexico. As I've already covered, the North American beaver is very similar in size to the Eurasian beaver, and it is the largest rodent in North America. Beavers are one of the few animals that modify their habitats, and they really are capable of making impressive structures. The world's largest beaver dam was built in Wood Buffalo National Park, and it measures around 775 meters in length. It was believed to be built between 1975 and 1990, and it's still in good shape today. As well as building these dams, they also build lodges, and these lodges have multiple underwater entrances. These lodges keep them away from predators and away from the elements, and it offers them a comfortable place to sleep. Beavers are famous for their large paddle-shaped tails, and they can use these tails to communicate with each other. They will slap these tails aggressively on the water's surface, and this acts as an alarm to alert other beavers. Strangely, even though these rodents are native to North America, they've been introduced into a few other countries around the world. They are invasive in some parts of Europe, and also in southern South America. They cause major damage in Tierra del Fuego, as they can completely alter the environment. There are very few predators to hunt these beavers in Tierra del Fuego, so it looks like they may be a problem for many years to come. These animals really can have a major impact on an ecosystem as they are so large, as they can have a maximum body length of around 90 centimeters, and they can reach a maximum weight of around 50 kilograms. This slots them in at number two, and there's one more very famous rodent up next. To find the king of rodents, we will be heading to South America, as we have the capybara. The capybara is one of the most iconic creatures in South America, and it's perfectly adapted to wetland areas. Just like many other rodents, their front teeth never stop growing, and these teeth are very effective at cutting through grasses and aquatic vegetation. Capybaras are social animals and they're usually found in groups of 10 to 30 individuals. Living in groups can also offer them some protection, as they are sometimes a target for jaguars, caimans and anacondas. These rodents are very important members of their ecosystem, and they also provide food for other animals. You can often see birds perched upon capybara, and these birds are feeding on bugs and parasites. This helps both animals as the bird gets a meal, and the capybara gets rid of pesky bugs. Even though this rodent is native to South America, there have been a few sightings of this animal in Florida. These animals are thought to be escapees, although a breeding population has not yet been confirmed. If these animals do become established in Florida, they will have a massive effect on the ecosystem, as they are the largest rodents in the world. They can reach a maximum length of around 1.35 meters, and they can reach a maximum weight of around 90 kilograms. That's around the same weight as a fallow deer or a jaguar, and this size means that the capybara is king of all rodents. If there are any other animals you think should have made it into this video, then let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.